Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, this is seriously like my third attempt to record this video. My computer keeps crashing. This would be three videos in a row with major technical func malfunctions. Somebody up there does not want me to let's play this game. Hello, are you having problems with Lou? Lou! You know about him, do you? Everyone around here knows about him. His name's Lou Shia. He's the son of Professor Rael Shia. Professor Rael Shia? Who's that? He's the father of Lou Shia. He's studying something weird. <laughs> or he's traveling around the world to find whatever it is. Then why doesn't he take Lou with him? There are so many dangerous places out there, he decided to leave his son at home. But why does Lou steal? I hear the royal sh- doesn't pay very well, I guess he doesn't pay Lou well either. Some father- For that reason, people in this town sort of ignore what Lou steals. Well, I guess, yeah, you don't make a lot of money researching, quote, something weird. Here we go. Now, I had to look at a fact to figure out how the heck to get to Goro to show up, and you have to talk to the innkeeper. Oh, it's you. I was coming to visit you. Avatar, you're going ahead with your journey to destroy the Sinistrals, am I correct? Yes, the Sinistrals are evil. If they ever turn, then I might defeat them. But if you were to find out that maybe there's, you know, the Sinistrals could be nice, do you think- I see, then I'm going with you. Coming with you. What? Will you really join us, Ugaro? What do you mean? Am I not worthy enough for you? Well, don't- no, I mean, you know, d dude, d d take a breath. Dude. I asked the army to battle the Sinistrals. No interest at all. I can't stay there anymore. All armies are the same. Well, Avatar, where are we off to first? It's kind of a weird complaint to have about armies that they refuse to fight. Don't normally people get upset when armies do fight? Anyway, let's uh, let's get a Goro hooked up with some better equipment than he's got. At least a little bit better. I don't think I can get him any better. Um, I don't think I can get him any better uh, weapon than he has right now, but uh, at least get him. Like, we can all at least be color coordinated in our tan outfits. Come on, Aguro, put on a dress. Dude, dude. Okay, I'm taking risks by pressing more buttons than is necessary. But this game keeps crashing. I want to make sure I keep a save state before I started this video. In case I have to take a fourth crack at this thing. <laughs> crack. Commander Aguro, are you really leaving the army? Teardrop. Okay, folks, let's get on with it. Now that we've got Aguro, full-time party member Aguro, we can, uh... Those rats really were not letting us run away. Monsters in the old cave are powerful. Come on, for two strict mothers. Yeah, it's not something like that hot. Excuse me, I heard someone here knows about Artia. Do you know who that might be? Who Artia? I mean, oh, the old man in the spring basement might know. I have no reason to think this. It's just a convenient way for you to have to go talk to somebody else for the plot to continue. The old man down the road. Do, do, do. I'm going to be a treasure hunter when I get older. That's great, kid. I'm going to be an insurance broker when I get older. Do you know the power of the ring? The flash ring increases the power of flash magic. I don't know why the old lady's talking like this. There are many kinds of rings. You must use them as a situation demands. You can't find them in shops. They're actually treasure. Thanks, lady. You lead a rich life. Says the Let's Player. I've heard there are many treasures at the bottom of the old cave, but it's only a legend. The mystery of the desert. Sorry, but you can't pass here. I've been to the old cave many times, but I've never reached the bottom. How far can it go? Have you heard the rumor, too? I'll let you pass for 50 gold pieces. Will you pay? Yep. Go and find a good task. 
After I found Speed Potion, that was worth 50 gold anyway. The old cave is down the road. After I found Spell Potion, alright. I really gotta look around more stuff. Let's see what happens if I come down here. Will he let me in? Oh, jerk. You don't look anything like a treasure hunter. That's okay, try to find something valuable. Here, you get a task suited to your level. You get to build... You get a new task for the live level. Sorry. I found some great treasure today. How about you? How about it? Yeah, I know, it's pretty stupid. We came in here, we paid 50 bucks to get in here, just for no good reason. I figured it was a bar. You're new here, I've been living like this for 40 years. Mm -hmm. I'm a pro, keep your hands off, understand? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, do you know anyone called Artia? Artia, oh, you mean the elf who fought at the Battle of Doom Island? I've heard of him. You know him, please tell him me more. You don't understand how this game is played. Oh, and we are playing a fascinating game, little boy. No, I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about your girlfriend. Not money, what I want is the fairy kiss treasure at the second level. Oh, he said a fairy kiss as well. Would you like to spend an evening with Arturo, perhaps? Only a woman can reach the fairy kiss, which is why I can never get there. I'm not even willing to talk to women. They're icky and they have cooties. Weirdo. Let's see, for you, a task of this level might be just right. Go to the second level and find the secret map. The reward is 500 gold pieces. Alright. So this is like, this game has an old cave, which has treasures and stuff. The second game has an old cave, which is significantly more impressive, and... Because it like actually has random dungeons that change every time you go in, and like, you can build an entire video game around it. As a matter of fact, they did, and they called it, uh... Cerulean Skies, or something like that. But, um, now Lufia 2 has a really important old cave, whereas this one's just kind of, you know... It's a dungeon that they didn't really come up with a plot reason for, they just kind of throw it in there. Enter the elevator and lower the switch. You'll go to the second level. I'm just searching your stuff here, buddy. I'll be right out. So, like the level you want to explore. Second level. So, folks, uh, recapping the plot, because, strangely enough, my emulator hasn't crashed. Knock on wood. Empty. Avatar found high magic. You, um, were trying to find the fairy kids, because that old jerk isn't going to help us unless we find fairy kids. We're finding lots and lots of empty... Oh, we found float. I love to float them. We got surprise attacked. Oh, that's right. In this game, if you, uh... I've forgotten about that particular problem. If you kill an enemy, and you've got more people queued up to attack it, they all just keep missing and attacking you something that isn't there. Because they suck. Only women may enter. Wait here, I'll go and get it. Will you be alright by yourself? Of course, trust me. We'll be right here if something happens. Are you alright, Luffy? I'm fine, let's return to Grovel. Wait, what? Wait here, I'll go and get it. I... Yeah, okay. She doesn't really like, um... Why can't men enter? I mean, there's no magical field, they just... He just wants to be polite and follow the rules posted by the door. Look, he found dress. Look, he found hairband. Luffy found heel shoes. Luffy found emotional codependence. She's just finding like really feminine stuff, you see. Let's give her those heel shoes. Put on your uh, you know what me boots here. Sorry, folks, for that comment. It takes down her defense, but it raises her attack. So what the heck? Maybe I'll just hang out in here for a while. You know, those stupid jerk boys can't bother me in here because there's a sign on the door prohibiting it. 
Alright, let's go low. Woohoo! Hey, and that ends it for this video. When we come back, we'll probably finish exploring this cave before we head back to town.